So Brad earns a base monthly salary of $2,400 plus 1.8% 1 commission on his total sales. If his monthly pay is $3,246, what were his sales that month? So salary is $2,400 plus 1.8% commission on his total sales. So it's 1.8% of whatever his sales were. And then if his pay is 3246, what were the sales that month? So the pay is uh, 3246. Then what were the sales? So that's the question, and I just wrote out the bare bones of it there. So what does it even mean? Um, it means that Brad's a salesperson. He'll definitely get 2400 a month to keep the lights on, and he'll get some commission on top of that. Okay? And what I want you all to do is pick a nice, easy number to plug in for sales. And you can plug in the number 10 or 100 or 1,000 or whatever. But like in this case, let's think about like, you know, 1,000 or 10,000 or some nice round number like that. So we're just going to imagine, and this will help us solve the problem, but imagine we had sales of, let's say, $1,000. Okay with that? And where did you get the $1,000, uh, teacher? I made it up. I just made it up because I want to use it to help understand what's going on. Right? Made it up. Uh, it's not in the question at all. Um, imagine that we had sales of $1,000. Now, the salary is going to be 2400 because you get that no matter what, plus 1.8% of 1000 Do we all agree on that? Yes. All right. And we're going to calculate this for fun because it would be 2,400 plus. Now, 1.8%, everybody, is in fact 1.8 per cent. And cent is the Latin word for 100. It's 1.8 over 100. Okay. Um, and if you divide it by 100, what you do is you take that 1.8 and you move the decimal point one, two spots to the left, and you put it there. And so you have like a zero here. It's, it's actually 0 0.018, okay? That makes sense? So it's 0 0.018. So turning 1.8% into a decimal looks like that. And just for fun, I could have done this. Multiply this by 10 over 10, get 18 over 1,000. And 18 thousandths looks like this, 0 0.018, okay? So whatever magic you use, 1.8% must look like this, okay? Now, of means multiply, of times 1,000, okay? Um, and, um, and let's do that for fun. Um, so we get 2,400 plus, and when I multiply by 1,000, by the way, the decimal point is going to go one, two, three spaces to the right, and that will give me 18, all right? So I did all of that just to show what would happen if Brad had sales of $1,000. He would get $18 for himself, because that's 1.8% of 1,000, right? Now, if you think about it, like, you know, 1% of 1,000 is $10, so like 1.8% of a Anyway, and so that would all end up being $2,418, right? So if he had sales of $1,000, this would be his total pay. And his actual pay was this. So we're, we're a long ways off, aren't we? Right? But I do want us to practice with nice, easy numbers instead of crying and telling me, oh, no, I can't do this. Because, look, when you plug in a 1,000, I think that, did that make sense at all? Or? Mm -hmm. 
right? Because most students freak out with these type of questions. But look, if you yeah. plug in a nice easy number, now you just say, um, let our sales be, you know, A, B, C, D, and some letter, or, or like X. The sales are unknown, right? And so our, our, the salary is 2,400 plus 18% of X, 18% of X, or 0 0.018 times X. So, so we don't know it's 1,000. It's unknown. So we imagine sales of 1,000. We did this calculation. Well, therefore, if the sales are X, the calculation looks like this. This is our salary, 2,400 plus 0 0.018 times X. Does that make sense? Yes. And that is the hardest part. Like once you get this, it'll all fall into place because that should be equal to the pay that he actually got. Three, two, four, six. All right. That's Those are eight hundred and forty-six dollars. Right. So to solve it, we'll subtract two thousand four hundred. And we'll get um, 0.018x equals, and this minus this is 6, 6 minus 0 is 6, 4 minus 0, 4. Um, and then I do some borrowing here because that 3 becomes a 2 and brings a 1 over here. 12 minus 4 is 8, and three, 2 minus 2 is 0. So we get this equals this. And then we need to solve, so divide by 0 0.018 on both sides. And yeah, there's a little bit of work to do here. Sorry about this, you guys, but good practice for you all on your decimals. So x equals this. And I'm going to solve this by hand over here. And I would like you guys to practice it by hand just for the practice. 846 over 0 0.018. What I want you to do is multiply it by something that gets rid of the decimal. Or we could do long division. But um, thousand. Right. If I, I what I want to do is I want to turn that bottom into an 18. So I want to move the decimal point over one, two, three spots. So I need to multiply this guy by 1,000. And if I multiply the bottom by 1,000, I must multiply the top also by 1,000. So I get 8, 4, 6, 0, 0, 0, all over 18. And now I can simplify that fraction because, um, well, we can do 2 into 18 goes 9 times, 2 into 8 goes 4 times, 2 into 4 goes twice, uh, 2 into... 6 goes 3 times, and 2 into these zeros gets 0, 0, 0. And so I have 4, 3, or sorry, 4, 2, uh, 4, 2, 3, and a few zeros over 9. And um, I can divide 3 in there, perhaps. 3 into 9 goes 3 times. 3 into 42. 3 into 4 is once, remainder 1. 3 into 12 is 4 times. 3 into 3 is once. And then 0, 0, 0. And then 3 into 3 goes once. Uh, 3 into 14, uh, 4 times. Sorry. 4 times. Uh, remainder 2, 3 into 21, 7 times, for 7, 0, 0, 0. So you should end up with 4, 7, 0, 0, 0, 47,000. And that is the answer. That amount of sales will um, bring the pay of $3,246. So you must be selling houses or perhaps cars or something like that. Probably houses, though, I'd say, or land or something. Um, and by the way, we could have done it this way, 0 0.018 into um, 846. I've got to move the decimal point over one, two, three spots. One, two, three spots. Put three zeros here, and it becomes 18 into 
846000. Okay. And we could have done long division because 18 into that you might guess 4. And 4 times 8 is 32 and carry uh, 3. And 4 times 1 is 4 and 3 is 7. And then subtract and we get 12. And then 18 into that you'll guess 7 because 7 8 is 56, carry the 5. And we get that, and then that becomes a zero, and that's another way to get the 47,000, all right? So, bit of practice there in the decimals for you guys, but that's your answer there, right? <laughs>